In this clip we're going to talk about matrix notation and matrix addition. Recall that the, that the context you're talking in is that of a multiple linear regression model y equals x beta plus u, where we have, or we assume, that we have n observations and we have k explanatory variables. So that x matrix had k columns and of these explanatory variables, if there was a constant, that is included in that k. So that may often be the first column of the x. So before we deal with matrix addition, you can see up there in that model there is an addition, we need to introduce some matrix notation. So let's consider the following matrix A. This is what we call a three by two matrix. It has three rows and two columns. So that first number will always indicate how many rows the matrix has, and that second number will indicate how many columns that matrix has. With that bit of notation under our belt, we can go back to our model, and we know that y is an n by one matrix or vector, x is n by k, beta is k by one, and u is n by 1. So in generic terms we could call the matrix A with these elements A, I, J where the, so we have six elements, three rows, two columns, where this I and J we call the I and the J, we call that the row index and the column index. So i, that's the first number, the row index, tells us in which, uh, which row we are talking about, and the second, that j is the column index, tells us which column. So, for instance, if we take element a to 1, looking at the element in the second row and the first column, and that takes a value of 4 in our matrix a. a32 is third row, second column, that is a value of 1. So, of course, in general, a matrix can have any sort of dimension m by n, m number of rows, n number of columns. All we need is that both m and n are large or equal than 1. So it can't be 0 or can't be negative and they are natural numbers. And now we'll talk about a few special cases. If n equals 1, so if you have one column only, we call the result a column vector rather than a matrix, but it's a special kind of matrix. So that would be a three by one column vector. If m equals one, we have one row, then we call it a row vector. So an example here would be this vector, which is the one by four row vector. If m is equal to n, then we call the result a square matrix. So here's an example of a three by three square matrix. Next we shall talk about a few special type of matrices. We have what we call symmetric matrices. A symmetric matrix is a square matrix that is mirrored along the diagonal. Now the diagonal of a matrix is this, well, the what we call sometimes the main diagonal it goes from the uh, one one element to the last element, last row, last column. So let's say here's our diagonal and if we have a symmetric matrix then these values opposite each other when using the diagonal to mirror should all have identical values. Okay, so this is what we call a symmetric matrix. The next special type of matrix is what we call an identity matrix. That is a square matrix with a very simple structure. It has ones on the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. So it is symmetric. You will see uh, in a moment. So we have ones on the diagonal. Let's say we have four rows and four columns. It's a square matrix. Ones on the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. So all other values, all values on the what we call off diagonal are zero. This is what we call an identity matrix. And it takes the role of a one, a scalar one in matrix calculations. And we sometimes give it the name of this capital I. 
So this is a special case of a uh, symmetric matrix. It is also a special case of what we call more generically a diagonal matrix. Di diagonal matrix is a matrix that only has non-zero values on the diagonal and zeros elsewhere, elsewhere, but they don't all need to be ones. Next we talk about matrix addition and subtraction. What we need for matrix addition and subtraction is two matrices of identical dimensions. That's extremely important. Uh, need to have the same number of rows and columns. So let's say we start out with this matrix A and I'll again use the generic notation. And then we have a second dimension B of exactly the same dimension which we want to add. Both of these are two by three matrices and then the result of an addition is going to be two by three again. So we have two rows and three columns. The one one element will be the sum of the two one one elements. The next the one two element will be the sum of the one two elements of both matrices and so forth. Okay, so this is how we calculate the values for the individual elements of that two by three matrix. So here's an example, adding two matrices together. And this is really the moment where you should press the pause button. And rather than me giving you the result, you should just try it yourself. Okay, so press the pause button and try it yourself. And once you got the solution, restart. Here's the solution. 3, negative 1, 11, 0, 7, 3. All right, this is the result of this matrix addition. It should be fairly straightforward. Now let's go back to our problem, the multiple linear regression model. So here's clearly an addition, the uh, vector of error terms and x times beta. Now the error term is n by 1. Now what we're adding is this x times beta. Now x is n by k and beta is k by 1, but we know together this needs to be n by 1 so that we can add it to u. Now to understand how this happens, we need to understand matrix multiplication, which is of course the topic of another clip.